how's it going excited about this one so i've got the um second sight limited edition of it follows which is out next monday the 11th of um, september it was meant to be out a couple of weeks ago but it got postponed really looking forward to it, it looks lovely it's a really thick one as well um, second sight do a fantastic job um, some of the sets limited edition sets are even fit thinner than this but this is a bit chunkier it's a bit like the um, Babadook one to be fair it's got that sort of similar like art design as well with the simplicity you know just a simple design nice picture of the main character from the film yeah fantastic movie I have seen this a few times I did have a um, standard blu-ray of it and it's great let's um, unseal it anyway and look at the limited edition contents so quite excited about watching this in 4K. After previously having a Blu-ray, should be a good upgrade. If Second Sight's other um, pieces are anything to go by, it'll be a really good um, stellar like 4K transfer. They've done the transfer themselves apparently. So, you know, it's a Second Sight in-house um, upgrade. Wow, love the color scheme. The blue just looks amazing. That's the um, J card wraps around so that so we'll have a quick look at that with all the um contents on yeah the film's great it's basically about an um a supernatural entity that goes um after people it's um it's contracted through um yeah through it's a sexually contracted like disease but it's not literally a disease you get you get somebody take it takes different forms and basically comes after you and subsequently you end up dead so not really giving anything away there because that is um sort of what's um in the synopsis as well so basically it's like a sexually transmitted infection um you pass it on through sex so when someone has sex with somebody else if they do before the um supernatural entity gets to them they pass it on sexually then the entity goes after that person who's just um, had it passed on to them and before the entity comes for that you know gets a hold of them they must also pass it on sexually through sexual contact yeah really cool idea for a film really eerie and like well very um quite a scary concept the um supernatural entity takes many forms you know the girl has an old woman come after her or someone who's died out of the family i think it might be a man comes after her um yeah this entity takes many forms takes forms of previous dead people from somebody's life you know like the girl's um grandma i think it takes form as her yeah i need to refresh myself with it but yeah look at the limited edition content you've got rigid slip case new artwork um 150 page book with new essays yeah six collector's art cards really cool there's um some of the things oh yeah, well, the um, tripod collapsed, as I said yesterday. I've got a broken tripod. It was a cheap thing anyway. I need to buy a better one. I'll have to do it one-handed. There's a close-up look. Dual format edition, including UHD and Blu-ray. And bonus features on both discs. New 4K master, produced by Second Sight Films. And original post-production facility. Approved by director Robert Mitchell. That's always good when the director approves it. UHD presented in Dolby Vision HDR. I'll try and steady my... There's a look anyway. I'll just say if you want to, you know, have a closer look, there you go. So let's get to the set. So it's really, um, it's a lovely set. It's rigid. It's going to be quite difficult doing this one-handed. I've not done one of these one-handed for a while. So this should be fun. But I'm going to make do anyway and get the video um, done. There's a look at the back. It's got the car wash, the um, characters having sex, the girls having sex at the beginning. Wow, that is a really nice touch. I think that was one of the artworks um, for the original like, poster design. I'm not rushing with this video anyway. Let's just have a good look. I think I'd better um, quick cut while I get all the contents right, out. Right, so I've got all the contents out. You get hardbound book, hardback cover, get your art cards, and your digipack, which looks lovely with that car design on again with the discs in there. So, yeah, my tripod's broken, so I'm having to do it um, one-handed, which is going to be a little bit of a pain when I flick through the book, but I should be able to manage. Um, I guess you get what you pay for. I mean, I didn't spend much on it. It was like a £5 tripod from Amazon. Bit plasticky, but a bit plasticky, sorry. But I have had it for like a year and a half, so it has served me well, to be fair. Um, let's take a look at the digipack first, and then we'll go on to the art card. So... There's the rigid slip box as well that it all goes in. There's a look at your box. I'll show a bit of that at the end. So you've got your digipack, got a nice car design. You've got your two discs. 
Got your Blu-ray disc there. You have your um, 4K UHD disc there. That looks really good. Sorry, someone's just come in the house, so hopefully they won't talk, otherwise they're going to be on this video. And then obviously it all wraps around. There's the car. So that looks really cool. You can see them in there. Getting a little raunchy. Yeah, really nice design for the Digipack. Really like that. So we'll have a quick look at the art cards now. So there's one of them. With the main character. There's that one. There's her again. Strapped to the chair. Because she's had the um, infection or what have you passed on sexually. So um, it's coming after her now. Pretty cruel thing to do actually. Have sex with somebody and then leave them strapped in a chair for some strange entity to come and get them. There's the car again. There's another art card. Quite a nice one. These art cards are lovely, by the way. They're a bit bigger as well. There's one. And there's another. So, what we'll do now is take a look through the um, book. I'm not going to show all of the book because it is 150 pages, so it is quite um, long. So, we'll just have a good look, like, take our time. Love the colour scheme, by the way. This whole, like, sort of, you know, this kind of offset like blue you know this weird bluey kind of almost like uh reshade you know kind of a bit turquoisey not too turquoisey but like you know it's a very nice um blue it's what i'm trying to say it's a very nice shade of blue i don't know that much about colors really um this book looks great though i pre-ordered this set like i was quite happy to pre-order it because i wanted the 4k and i thought well i'll get the limited edition set because i really like the film and um obviously you can buy also you can get the um 4k disc in a standard amore case with that, that cover you can get that in an amore case for 24.99 i think from a lot of retailers which is a good price i just thought i'd pay the bit extra like the sort of extra like you know like 20 pounds to get all of this because i will read these um, essays on the film because it's an interesting film i'm surprised i've never done a sequel and i've heard sort of like rumors of there being a sequel plenty of texts though in the book Trying to see if I can flip through this a little bit better. It is difficult one-handed though. Really got it's a shame the tripod um broke. Maybe I could have fixed it, quick fixed it, but I wanted to get the video done. So as you can see, it is stacked, full of essays. It's got pictures. Yeah, you don't see her mother in the film. Forgot about that. Just always out of focus or whatever. That's quite a good element, yeah. Really smart film. The whole like, idea and concept's great. Like this whole like entity entity coming after people when it's um you know like been um sexually transmitted. A really strange idea as well. Yeah. So there's really lots of like theories in this book as well. I imagine because you know. It, this film doesn't exactly explain everything thoroughly. I mean, it's a really good one there. Yeah, loving the colour scheme. A bit difficult to do. It's a bit difficult. I'm trying to show you the best I can, but anyway, we'll just have a quick flick through. That's how thick the book is, very thick. This unboxing really hasn't gone to plan, thanks to the tripod. I suppose it's sort of my fault, though, for not buying a better one. Never mind, as you can see, you've got plenty of pictures. The paper's lovely as well. It's really thick paper. It's a good um, quality, I have to say. That's a good image. From the swimming pool in the um, climax of the film. If you watch the film or have, you'll know what all that's about. Some brilliant scenes in it as well, like when the entity's coming after um, her. Oh, well, there's the when it takes the fall of the creepy guy. If you can see that. Really weird stuff. Really good concept. Yeah. That's the book anyway. 150 pages of essays and pictures. As you can see, really nice material. Yeah, great job from Second Sight. They do lovely books. This is like the Babadook set. It's that kind of thickness with the really good quality um, book. You know, half book, which is great. 
So we looked at the art cards, looked at the digi pack, and that's pretty much it. So get your J card, just want to zoom a bit, got your art cards, got your nice hardbound 50, 150 page book, and of course the rigid slip box, which is like that, and really um, sturdy. I won't really I won't do the um stereotypical knock the hard box thing, can't be asked to do that. There's a digi pack really nice so yeah if you're a fan of it follows i'd grab this limited edition set before it does actually um go out of stock um obviously like if you want the just want the disc on 4k pick up the amaray you know for 24.99 they've also done a blu-ray edition with the same transfer so there's a second type blu-ray out there for under 20 pounds as well so really good business model by second sight they bring out like three editions you've got your limited your 4k on its own and then of course your standard blu-ray so also, they're bringing out Crimes of the Future, the latest um, David Cronenberg film in a limited edition set. I haven't ordered that yet, though. I made it. I have seen the film. I thought it was fairly good. You know, pretty decent idea. Not his best work, but it was an interesting one nonetheless. But I may pick that second side um, edition up as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's the end of the video. Yeah, so happy to have this set. Yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic. Utterly mesmerising looking. I mean, look at that artwork, so nice. Yeah. It's got a dark feel to it as well, really captures the sort of energy of the um, film and what it's about, yeah. Lovely set, can't wait to watch the 4K transfer. Okay, that's the end, bye.